Blind. Okay, it's time now for our second mystery guest of the day. Are your blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes. Ready. Then would our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? go one question at a time. Face law prevails. You have about two minutes. And let's begin with whom will we begin? Let's begin with Henry Morgan. Oh, thank you. Are you um, a very attractive lady? Yes. Well, Henry, I certainly hope so. <laughs> I've always loved your looks. Can I take a guess now? <laughs> You mean there's only one prevail. person that loved your looks, Henry? <laughs> only one person that sounds like that. <laughs> Are you uh, playing in the New York Theater? We no, Arlene. Not right now, darling. Oh. No. Jean, it's a pretty good imitation of Lorelei. Uh, we can rule her out, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I... That means yes. Donna? Okay. Um, mystery guest, um... Do you have a television series of your own? No, darling, Don. I wish I did. It would be heaven. It would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Henry? If you aren't Carol Channing, I'll have to kill myself. <laughs> Repeat after me. The Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> what comes after our father? <laughs> Carol Channing? Uh, gee, that's a marvelous image. In in yes. Um, you don't have a show? Have you been on uh, Broadway recently? Oh, no, Henry, darling, not for years. Not Are for you? years. Are you singing in a club? Well, Arlene, uh, I could, I guess, but not right now. No. Jean? No. Well, now, uh, can we... Uh, can Why are you trying to impersonate me, Jean? That hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, darling, can we rule out Sheila McRae? Yes. Well, if you want to. <laughs> Okay. We've ruled out Sheila McRae. She's not singing in a club. Uh, are you a straight actress? Well, I have been sometimes, Donna, but you're too young, sweetheart. <laughs> you wouldn't have remembered. I go back to Ibsen. <laughs> <laughs> we have and Ibsen goes seconds. back to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, I'm going to throw him all over. <laughs> Pat Carroll for Pete. <laughs> Sorry. I really, really don't. Know. Know. No, you know the thing, Larry. Both one. Henry and I have worked with Pat a lot, and she has never ever done that for I don't me do, or for him. I don't do impersonations. <laughs> I just do it on this show because I know all of you, except Dana. I'm sorry, this is the first time we've met, but I had to do something to fool you. Listen, uh, why is it that I hear that you're going back to? Well, college? what do you hear? I hear you're thing. going back to college. Yes, I'm going back to college. I'm finishing a year in dinner theater. And I have toured far too long for my family's sake. And I've wanted to finish up my degree for a number of years. And so I'm going back to college in September, and I'm finishing up my degree in English in a year's time at a special program at Immaculate Heart College. Was that and in California? In California, yes. And it's pretty exciting because I think that uh, uh, I hope I'm an example to a lot of people, both women and men, that it's never too late to smart up. <laughs> <laughs> that school is the answer to smarting up, but I think it indicates this. We have one lady in this group that is 70 years old and just finished high school, and she passed her college equivalency test higher than anyone. That's <laughs> And that's marvelous that someone at 70 says, I want to go back to college. And whenever it is, I think it's a great indication for both kids who are dropping out today and those of us of the middle years who dropped out a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you for being here, darling. Have a good time in school. We'll be back with more of What's My Line after this message.